Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So we've got some pretty big news coming out of the state of California today in regards to ammunition laws, rules, and regulations. Now, as you know, California makes it very difficult for people to be able to get ammunition in that state. You have to go to a licensed FFL or a vendor. Nothing can be shipped to your door. You have to go through a background check and pay a fee. And a lot of times these background checks give false positives. That means that people are denied for reasons that they don't even know about or reasons that don't even exist. I've gotten a lot of emails in the past from people who are active duty law enforcement and people who are also in the military and they're still getting denied and they don't know why. So there's a lot of problems with this on top of the fact that it's unconstitutional. There's a lawsuit that is challenging it and that is Rody v. Bonta. And we have some pretty big movement in that case which is sitting in front of Judge Roger T. Benitez. So we're going to talk about what just happened and what we can expect. Let's get to it. Hey, real quick, I just want to mention that more than half the people that watch these videos are not actually subscribed. If you like Second Amendment content, you want to know what's going on around you, hit that little subscribe button. It's free, but it helps me out quite a bit. And sometimes people aren't seeing the videos they want to see in their thread, so make sure you hit that little alarm bell. That'll let you know when new content comes out. I put Second Amendment content out pretty much daily. So again, make sure you subscribe. A like would be appreciated. And hit that little bell notification. Let's get to it. Now, some of you from California might remember Prop 63. It was one of the biggest gun control packages that California had ever seen, maybe even to this date. And the law and regulations that we're talking about today come directly from that. Now, the case that we're talking about started out as Rody v. Becerra. Now, Becerra's obviously moved on. We have Bonta, so it's Rody v. Bonta. And this case has been winding its way through the court system now since 2019. So for the better part of four years, this case has been going on and it looks like we might be close to some relief and a lot closer than you might think. As a matter of fact, uh, Judge Benitez is going to be hearing arguments on a potential injunction just this coming Monday, depending on when you're watching this video, July 17th. So we could get some relief a lot sooner than people might think and that would basically alleviate all of the restrictions and the bans in that state when it comes to that stuff. So uh, when I talk about ban, what I mean is a lot of people are banned from it. And the reason that they're banned is because they're not able to acquire any due to some maybe clerical error. Uh, the DOJ could have one address on file and then you have another address and you've moved since. And so the addresses don't match and therefore a uh, the background check comes back as denied. And until you get that fixed, you're not able to get anything. And there's a lot of people out there who have not been able to get that fixed, especially people that are visiting out of state. Just forget about it. It's, it really is a big problem in California. So uh, I want to show you guys the document. This is going to be the, the sheet for Monday's hearing. And I might do a live that morning just so we can go over what the arguments are between the state and the plaintiff's attorneys and see exactly what they're talking about because we're talking about the Second Amendment post-Bruin. And so we have to see some type of historical analysis from the state. It's going to be really interesting to see what happens here. But obviously we know where, uh, you know, we, we know where Benitez stands. So I expect a good outcome out of this. But let me go ahead and read you some from the court filing. Okay, so it says here, United States District Court, Southern District of California, order setting hearing. A hearing on plaintiff's motion for preliminary injunction filed, and look at that date, 7-22-2019 almost exactly four years from the original date it was filed, will take place on Monday, July 17th, 2023 at 2 p.m. in courtroom 5A. Now here's what they're looking to cover in that hearing. A, the plaintiff's continuing Article 3 standing. B, whether plaintiff's conduct is covered by the text of the Second Amendment. C, relevant historical analogs. Uh, D, applicability of footnote 9 in New York State Rifle and Pistol Association v. Bruin, uh, E, the Dormant Commerce Clause, uh, F, preemption, G, whether judicial deference is owed to laws produced by ballot measure Proposition 63, that's the prop that I was mentioning, and whether additional discovery is necessary, and if so, the specific discovery needed. It is so ordered June 30th, Roger T. Benitez. Now, because there's so many huge cases in California like Duncan or Miller or Renna, you, you sometimes forget that there's pretty much a lawsuit challenging just about everything in that state. 
Now, these lawsuits take a long time. We all know that. Sometimes they, they go through like almost like a dormant phase, and so people start to forget about them. But this is a very, very important one, and it causes a lot of problems for the people of the state of California. And so it would, nice, would, would be nice to get at minimum an injunction, but again, to see in the end this be completely overturned. I would love to see what the state is going to say is some type of historical analog between 1791 and the Reconstruction era that shows that any type of law like this has existed in the past. I think you're going to be either hard pressed or it's going to be completely impossible to find anything that is even relevantly similar. I don't think you're going to be able to do that. Does it implicate the Second Amendment? Absolutely. We already know that, right? So now you have to try and find some type of historical analog. Now that it implicates the Second Amendment, we kind of go on to the next step, and the state is the one who has that burden. It's not the plaintiffs who have the burden to find something that is, is of relevance. It's the state's burden to do that. So they're the ones that are going to have to come up with something, and I'm really curious to see what they say in court on, on uh, what, Monday. So again, this is really big movement. We have a court date that is finally set. Everybody's been waiting for it. I've been waiting for it. And we finally have a court date that is set for July 17th, just coming Monday. And uh, maybe we'll get some relief in a, another department in the state of California. I think, I think California's, uh, the California politicians at least, are set to take a pretty big loss in the very near future in a lot of uh, a lot of these different big cases. So I just want to let you guys know about that. And I want to thank you all very much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that little bell notification will let you know when new videos come out. Again, thank you all very much. Have a good one.